Good morning from Izmir. Today we are starting with some yummy food. Hi, thank you. Right on time. All right, so that's a crying baby. We've come down the street from our Airbnb to Dostar Farini, which is where some of you have told us to come for these yummy boils. Um, they look like pastries filled. We got spinach and uh, eggplants, two different kinds that they suggested and said were the best you could get. So we were told by so many Turks that you can't eat too many of these because you will get fat. I'm pretty sure I could eat five of them for breakfast right now. I'm you would so be hungry. fine. Yeah. <laughs> It's so flaky. It's really good. Yeah? Mm hmm Whoa. It's really flaky. The spinach is really good, actually. I could probably eat five of these, yeah. For sure. And it seems while you're here, the thing to get is this lemonade with mint leaves in it. It's so refreshing. Looks like we're getting fat today. We went in for seconds. This one is made of honey and something else I'm sure. It, I think it's pronounced aglutatu. Probably saying it wrong, but really, really delicious. This is my favorite. Mm. And the other one is a black olive. Which is really, really good as well. Olive's good. So what are we up to today? Today we are headed to Cheshme, a place known for its beautiful beaches and somewhere where a lot of celebrities, I guess, go to enjoy the sun, to, to swim the Aegean Sea. I'm really looking forward to it. The only way that we can get there is by bus. So we're going to take a train to the Izmir station and then we're going by bus. It'll take about two hours, um, kind of a trek, but not too bad actually. So we'll be there within the afternoon. It's probably a better way to do this, but we don't know where we're going, so we're going to the train station, and that should get us to the uh, metro area. A 3TL ticket on the train called Denizli, and we're headed to the airport now. I don't know if there's different classes or what, but we're just going to find a seat and sit down. Ah, see, that looks kind of fancy. One too many bozos, you said. Oh man, I was, um dying out there it's so hot and it's we were so walking hot. I told Josh there's supposed to be like a limit like an hour before you exercise when my with my bags that was exercise we walked a long way no I mean I'm, I'm drenched my yeah. is wet now we're trying to figure out where we should stop the directions that I got were very vague and so we don't know exactly where we're supposed to stop except is near airport um, <laughs> and there so, are three stops right around it yeah each of them has a bus near it so we're just gonna have to choose one and take our chances and then if we're wrong we'll just walk to the other. Yeah. So just wish us luck that we picked the right one on the first try. <laughs> the good thing is is that the Izmir Airport most likely would have an information booth where we could ask if we needed. Alright, well, here we go. It's only a 15 minute train ride, so we've been told. Yeah, shouldn't be bad. Okay, we think we figured it out. We stopped at the airport and it says Kumauvasi has a bus symbol next to it. So we're like, alright, I guess we'll get off to the next stop. We'll give it a go. Josh has been looking at his map the whole time. So yeah. Hopefully. We don't have any real information, so it's okay. literally all guessing now. <laughs> I guess this is it, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. Alright. Alright, we found buses. But according to a worker here, Cheshme? No, you gotta go to the airport. Yeah. But it didn't stop at the airport. It did wait. stop at the oh, airport. Oh wait, yeah, you're right. No, it did. So we have we to take another to bus back. The, we need to take the train back. Okay. We're not in any rush rush today. So. Well, we have a meeting at six. Super. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Okay. We are. Oh, well, we have a lot of time. I don't know what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like three. Okay. Okay, we are royally lost. We got off here at the stop, but we actually have to go back to the airport. The guy was helping us, but he was just naming all of these stops and buses we like, could take. It sounds like 20 different names we've never heard of. He's like, you can do yeah. this or this or this. So hopefully at the airport, it will be a little more self-explanatory and we'll understand hopefully the information booth person if we need that help. So fingers crossed. I didn't realize that we had this call at six and we have two hours to get there. So everything from this point on needs to go perfectly. 
Ugh, I don't. I was like stress free until you said we had that phone call. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Car, airport itself. We don't know what we're doing. We don't have any internet, so we have no way of checking like Wi Fi yeah. or getting directions. That says Habla Yolare Airline City Transfers. Maybe one of them goes to Cheshme. He said the word Cheshme, and this man immediately motioned over. He's like, Come with me. Yeah. All right, he passes on. Chejme, and uh, we have about nine minutes before our meeting. Gosh. So let's just try and find, maybe this cafe right here has some Wi-Fi, I don't know. And I have to go to the bathroom so bad. Oh, <laughs> say your prayers. Stressful situation now. So we're just gonna sit next to each other. Yeah, I guess we can get in the same call or whatever. Anyways, it was really easy. We just came to the first cafe we came across. They have Wi-Fi, and assuming the Wi-Fi works, we've got chat, we're good to go, baby. Our phone call went great and our wonderful Airbnb host has picked us up at the cafe and we're gonna head to our new little home. He designed and built this all by himself with no experience beforehand. There was literally a little shack from his family here and they built, what, a two-story with 13 rooms? Nuts. So beautiful. Like, this place is boutique yeah. amazing. Look how beautiful this is. He said they didn't even know he was an interior designer a year ago. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. And we have a special room with a balcony overlooking the Cheshme Castle. teasing that we brought the storm with us because literally we got off the bus it was beautiful sunny and now this happens <laughs> but there's actually massive flooding and huge yeah. uh, hailstones in Istanbul, Istanbul right now so crazy but honestly I don't mind the temperature is so nice right now the temperature is really really good when it's been so hot recently but I am planning on getting a tan here because it's well known for the beautiful beaches so tomorrow we're laying out and going swimming so says Ashley. That's the plan. <laughs> the location of this hotel is perfect. The main walking street is literally down there that goes down to the Cheshme Marina. It is gonna be such a fun place to film because it's just beautiful. There's so many things I wanna do here. We're here for a short period of time, so we gotta get out there. <laughs> So this restaurant was recommended to us by our Airbnb hosts, which um, taking advice by the locals is the best way. And so I'm really looking forward to this. And I'm starving. All we had was breakfast this morning. We had those little Yeah, little what you bozos. saw us eat today is what we ate today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need to eat something else. <laughs> I've got coffee and tea in me and like three of those little bo boyos or bozos. Bozo. <laughs> it's actually called them. <laughs> Food has arrived. It's not traditional Turkish, but I am so excited about it. <laughs> what did you get? Um, I got fettuccine with chicken and grilled vegetables. It's so good. Good choice. All right, Wayfam, on to new things 
friends, I'm so excited to be here in Cheshme. So many of you said to come visit and here we are. It's gonna be amazing. Tomorrow, hopefully beaches and a little yes. bit of Cheshme and a suntan. <laughs> Josh! Josh! Yes. I'm comfy cozy in my princess bed. I'm ready for my nighttime princess story. Indeed. Um, I have a story for you. Once upon a time, there were two brave adventurers and they went around the world together but one day they got completely lost and sweaty and hungry and somehow they didn't even fight the whole time what yeah and then they ended up in a beautiful princess castle ben, ben castle. in a in a gorgeous little town called cheshme at this wonderful airbnb with the link down in the description down below if you wanted to stay here and they lived happily ever after for the rest of the night. Gale gale.